So we've got another unboxing, a good old Imperial Guard Chimera. As you've all noticed my army's probably been lacking quite a few Chimeras. So it's about time I get some. So let's have a look in the box. So, now please excuse me if I get some of these bits wrong because I've never built a Chimera or Chimera shaped object. So here we have the outside track, outside hull. And I have to admit it's got really nice details on there with all the rivets etc. Then we got the uh, tracks. The two of the larger tracks and there's another two there. And then we got the uh, inner side of the hull. Which is where all the parts connect to. So that would connect to that part. And we got very much the same thing again down here. Um, I'm not that sure what these parts are for. Um, but it looks like they're prob probably parts of ammo storage or something. Um, I'll find out once I build when I build it. And then we got a hatch of some sort, either on the rear or on the top. I think this one goes on the front actually, maybe. We then got the main body of it, so this is the main sort of floor hull I believe with some arm plating for the back I, I think as well or that might be the front just underneath the front front area and we got the back door plate I believe which obviously goes on the back duh and then we got the main sort of front front area with the driving cockpit uh, this probably you probably have the uh, main turret mount might go in there etc so uh, let's have a look at the next bit there's only two sprues on the on this one all right so that's the back door so I got no clue what the other bit is for I suppose I will find out uh, soon enough and that, by the looks of it, is the inner back door. And we got a heavy flamer, hull mounted one there, along with a hull mounted heavy bolter. We got a hunter killer missile. Then we got a Kelachan head for commander. A fun sort of blade to mount the dozer blade here on as well as I believe a satellite dish of some sort and then we've got the mount here for the hunter killer and another alternate guardsman head and we've got some sort of antenna as well as storm, uh, pedal mounted uh, storm bolter we've got some more of those sort of ammo covers and then the signature part of the camera the las lasgun emplacements and we've got some side armoring which goes on the front and then of course the main part so it will go in there and you've got the las lasgun parts there this is what everybody loves this is the main part which everybody knows and loves Then we got a heavy bolter here. I believe this heavy bolter goes along with this part here to make the turret mounted heavy bolter. Uh, I probably won't be using heavy bolter as personally I think that the multi laser is a lot better than the heavy bolter. The heavy flamer has its uses quite a few at the time and fluff reasons I'm going to probably be having one of my chimeras to having a uh, heavy flamer as every chimera Every for every three chimeras, there's one with a heavy flamer. So uh, then we got the uh, multi laser mount along with the heavy flamer turret mount. Then we got the bottom part of the turret as well as the upper part of the turret. 
bolt pistol for the commander along the commander's torso. Uh, a last pistol, another arm, a heavy stubber along with an alternate head, some smoke launchers, always useful, some caps to the top of the uh, the chimera, which I think I will probably be using. I believe that these might be again side armor parts. Again, I could be wrong, and that looks like shoulder armor for the uh, guardsmen. So uh, I haven't been the oh, and we've also got the searchlight and a couple other little parts here and there. So I haven't been the most useful in this unboxing. And of course, we got some transfers and quite a hefty instruction book showing all of it <laughs> but I would imagine that once you built one it sh the rest should be e relatively easy to build so I will get on and build this up and I'll be back with you in a minute moment so I finished building it up uh, most of it went together pretty easily. Uh, the tire tracks went, the uh, tracks went together fantastically easily. Um, speaking from a person who built the old edition Lehman Russ and uh, Basilisk, uh, the the tra new tracks are fantastic, and you can't go far wrong. In fact, if I bring in my Medusa quickly here to show you, these are the sort of problems that you sometimes get with the old with the old kits sort of tiny little gaps the new ones no such gaps um, other than that it went together relatively easily um, the turret mounted weapon is could be easily magnetized quite easily to accommodate all the weapon options um, I personally won't be using anything other than this format and a flamer format and I'm pretty much always going to use the flamer one for cer certain guard people, so I won't have any neat reason to magnetize them. That and I far prefer the uh, Forge World heavy bolter anyway from them. Uh, the one thing I will say is that the body itself, building the individual parts is relatively easy, but making sure that all the individual parts fit together properly can be a bit of a problem. It could be that my super glue is running a little low, but it just didn't want to stick in the correct place for quite a while. So make sure you take your time with sticking sticking the main body in. Of course, the uh, parts are fully movable. And um, I will see you all next time when I should have three of these up and running hopefully because I'm currently awaiting the others in the post so I will see you next time